Hello and welcome to a video. My name is Shaden and I'm with GeoMDev. In this video, we'll look at adding a custom font to your Joomla website. For this uh, video tutorial, we're using an Asteroid Framework template. This is applicable across all templates, all Joomla templates, as long as you know the style sheet you need to add the custom CSS in. Uh, the first step is selecting a font. You may already have a font from your designer or wherever you bought your font. Uh, I am using this website 1001freefonts.com to download a free font. Let me do that real quick. I'll, go, I'll just go with this one, West Cousin, or what this font is. And in most cases, you will receive a TTF file uh, from your provider wherever you bought your font. So TTF stands for True Type Font, uh, True Type Font Family, and uh, True Type Font File. And what this does is TTF is basically for installation of font on your operating system. So you know, since I'm on Windows, I can install this, use it in Photoshop, Word, or wherever my fonts are. And to use it on web, we have to convert this TTF into a uh, WOF file. Uh, that is for web open font family i think that's that's what the name is you know web open font format actually web open font format so i want to convert it into that file so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and extract this real quick let me do that okay and to convert it into a wolf file we can use a online converter you know this one by font squirrel works really nice for me and you may use another one just just if you if this one isn't up when while the time you're watching this video just google uh ttf to woof font converter and you know you'll probably find something better i'll go ahead and upload my file say yes i have the rights and this might take second two depending on how fast the site is operating and then once done you click download your kit all right probably take another few seconds all right and once done we'll have a zip file with something like this so uh this uh, font squirrel does it really well it kind of demonstrates what your font uh, is looking like and everything but really what you're looking for is these two font uh, files these two woof and woof2 files and then the style sheet as well probably but really this is what we're going to use so i'm going to go ahead and extract these real quick let me do that One second. Okay, so I've extracted these font files and this is what I have, the WOF files. The next step is to upload these files to our server. In this case, uh, we're gonna use cPanel File Manager and navigate to the template folder. So I'll go back and start from scratch. So this is our Joomla root. We're gonna go to templates, our default template, which in this case is asteroid template zero. And here we can upload the files here directly if we want to, or we can organize it a little bit. So I'm going to create a folder named fonts. And inside the folder, we are going to upload these two files that we have downloaded. Okay. Perfect. And if I reload, we have our files. The next step is to add the style sheet. Uh, the, the font itself to the C, uh, style sheet to the CSS file. In Asteroid, you can add a custom CSS file and add whatever you want there. So I'll just create a new file, call it custom.css. And now I don't want to download it, I want to edit it. So you may be using FTP for this, which is totally fine as well. I just prefer the file manager as it works a little better. For tutorials uh, now the font family uh, CSS that need, you need to type can also be found in the zip file that we downloaded let me go back and open up the file that we downloaded a second and this was the font we downloaded uh, well this was the converted font we downloaded so if I was to open up this style sheet you will see we received the following 
uh, style, the following style. We can really just copy paste this and add it to our style sheet, which is here. Now, this is expecting the WUF files to be in the same folder, but since they are in the fonts folder, which is relative to the CSS, uh, pretty much on the same level. So we have to do this. So the two periods is what that's doing is going back one level. So it's in the template root and then it's going to the font folder, fonts folder, and then looking for these files. So now we have this correctly. Now let's say we want to apply this font to the body. Let's let's look at our demo real quick, make sure there is no font. So at least you can see what font it is. And so this is your basic, uh, basic font, you know, basic. Uh, basic font Arial or something that comes with the default demo. So what let's say we want to change font for the body. Let's go body here and we'll say font family equals West because regular and then we want to say important. So important is for overriding since body already has a font. So we want to override it with this one. And if I go ahead and save it and refresh this page you will see we have a silly looking font here <laughs> yeah I mean it's hard to read what it is but you know you get the point that's what we were trying to do so we are applying it on body if we were to apply it on h1 or h2 or h3 look a little bit better so let's do it for h1 h2 h3 you know all three headings and you may notice that we got the font here and here but not here not on the menu because <clears throat> you know even though all of this is part of the body but the typography for these elements is managed separately so you will have to add it for all the headings and everything in order to apply the font to you know all elements and now that we added for headings you can see if the font is here the font is here and here as well now you may want to apply the font to a particular paragraph or a particular div which you can do by writing this custom font family wherever you like and that's pretty much it that's how you do a custom font in asteroid or in any joomla template thank you for watching